Hey there dudes and dudettes, it's Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons here. Oh, it's been a long time, huh? But I'm back. I'm going to show you how to make this totally awesome blue tang fish. It takes just three 260s. I got a light blue, a dark blue, a yellow. Oh, and you can't forget the white round. Now if you make these for the little ones, they're going to say, you so totally rock. So grab your balloons, let's ride the EAC. Shaw! Sure. One light blue, one dark blue, one yellow, and one white round. These are all 260s. We are going to start with the light blue. And we're going to fill that with a six-ish finger tail. We're going to start with a pinch twist. We're going to do a very, very small bubble, like one finger. Pinch, oh, pinch twist that. And then another one inch pinch twist. So we've got this so far. Now we're going to do about a three finger bubble, another three finger bubble, another three finger bubble, and another three finger bubble. Okay, like that. Now this is what we have. If we lay these out, we want our next bubble to be just a touch shorter than those together. Okay, so roll that through and you should have this. Okay, at this point we are going to attach our dark blue. going to end up breaking some of this off. A six or seven finger tail is good. We're going to attach this up here. These are the eyebrows. So we're going to attach this to the eyebrows. And now laying this out, we want to come back mm, ten-ish fingers maybe. Um, like that. Uh, we actually want these to pretty well match. So there we go. That's that's pretty good. Now we're going to take this and comparing to the top, we're going to go about two thirds of the way and make a twist. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to attach this here. I'm going to slide it. So I'm going to slide through between these bubbles here. Pulling that through. And those should attach right there. Now I'm going to make a little teeny tiny bubble right there. Okay. Can you see that little bubble there? And then I'm going to attach that over on the other side. Like that. And now bring this back to the back. Try and get the two side bubbles to match. Okay, so this one here and that one there should be about the same. Wrap that around a few times and then pop it off. Egg salad. With the remainder of this light blue balloon, we're going to fill in this space between the dark here. So go ahead and give this a squeeze. You want it to be nice and soft. And bring it up to the eyebrows there. So that's kind of filling in that space there. All right, we're going to take our yellow next. And we're going to be breaking this off, so it doesn't really matter if we played it halfway-ish. 
We're going to attach this in the back here. I'm going to make a pinch twist first. With your standard one inch pinch twist. And I'm going to attach that right there. I'm going to send this through and around just to make sure that the attachment is nice and solid. And then I'm going to make a matching pinch twist. And so another one inch pinch twist. One pinch twist will go on one side, one pinch twist will go on the other. Okay, and then about a hand's width bubble, a two, two and a half finger bubble, and another hand's width bubble. And wrap that back into those pinch twists and break off the rest. Tie this off. So here's where we are. I'm going to take the remainder of the dark blue balloon, put some air in there. I'm going to make a pinch twist. A two and a half finger bubble, pinch twist. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do two pinch twists there. So that's like that. And then pinch twist at the end, two and a half finger bubble, the bubble at the end. So this I can't really pinch twist because I don't have anything on the end here. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then when I attach the yellow there, that will make, make that kind of pinch twisty. Okay, um, I'm going to take the yellow balloon. Put some air in it. I'm going to make a pinch twist. And I'm going to attach this to that pinch twist. Like that. I'm going to tie this off. And scissors. If you don't have scissors, hopefully you can tear that off. There we go. Okay, that's one fin, and I know that that's not real clean. If you have scissors, clean that up. Take the remainder of that balloon. Put some air in it. I'm going to make a pinch twist here at the end. Take this blue one here. Make that bubble there at the end, like that. Okay. So those don't quite match. I probably could have put a little bit more air in this right here. That's okay. Not a big deal. We're going to slide this through the body here. And we're just going to set it like that. It's just going to kind of sit in there. We're not going to attach it to anything. Okay. If you feel like you need to attach it, you can figure out a way to do that. Um, it just kind of sits between the body, uh, the body balloons. Okay, last thing we need is the white round. And we don't want the eye to be too big. So about there, I think. Um, when you twist this in half, the resulting bubbles will not be half the diameter of this. They will be 80% the diameter of this. And I have a video explaining the math on why that's so. Um, but if you've been having trouble with eyeballs coming out too large when you twist your white rounds in half, you might want to watch that video. Okay. So twisting that in half, and then put that through the case. And those are going to sit right there under those eyebrows. You can give this front part a little squeeze, make it a little narrower, and then you'll draw the eyes on there, and you are done. So that is your super simple three balloon plus a round, so four balloons total I guess, uh, blue tang fish. Hope you can get some use out of this, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.